Hello everyone, welcome to my complete enchanting guide. In this video, I'm covering each and every detail that is there to know about enchanting. There are many ways where one can enchant, but this would be a video where you can optimize enchanting. To enchant, you would need something called the enchanting table. And an enchanting table is made with four obsidian, two diamonds, and one book. And to unlock the maximum level of enchantments, you would need 15 bookshelves around the enchanted table. And if you don't know how to make a bookshelf, this would be the recipe. You would place three planks of your choice up and down row, and then three books in the middle. To gain the maximum level of enchantments, you would need at least 30 levels of EXP. You can surely unlock the th level 30 enchantment but you would need level 30 exp it doesn't have 30 you wouldn't be able to enchant the level 30 enchantment so here this numbers is the minimum requirement of exp that you need to have in order to do that level of enchantment now you might ask how do i unlock level 30 enchantments that is through the bookshelves okay each bookshelf will give you two levels so 15 bookshelves across your table will give you the maximum levels that is 30 level 30 enchantments now i'm gonna break uh, off the first row okay nine bookshelves so guess how many levels of enchantment that would have unlocked so nine bookshelves times two is 18 so 18 levels uh, of enchantment i would have unlocked see if i place all the bookshelves back like so and check once again i would unlock the level 30 enchantments this is something that you would uh, find really helpful if you place a torque so there are only six books okay so six books will send exp levels to unlock in the enchanted table so six times two is 12. so see 12. i unlocked level 12 enchantments so what i'm trying to say is that torches would block the exp uh, that the bookshelves are sending to the enchanting table if you didn't know to enchant of course you would need some lapis and an enchantable item I would have all the enchantable items on the screen right now. Some of the enchantment items are would be armor, tools, weapon, trident, turtle shells, bows, crossbows, fishing rod, books, and many other things. Uh, there are about certain items that you cannot enchant through the enchanting table. One such example would be a flint and steel. Now, I'm going to place this flint and steel and try to put the lapis to enchant a flint and steel. As you can see, there are no uh, enchantments appearing on the right side. That is because uh, flint and steel is an item that you cannot enchant through the enchanting table. But on the other hand, you can enchant a flint and steel through the anvil. Okay, as you can see, and then uh, unbreaking through. Some of the items that you can enchant through the animal would include the shears, carrot on a rod, fungus on a rod, shields, elytra, pumpkin head, mob head are some of those items. Let's talk about the enchantable items that you can enchant through the table. When you put a item, enchantable item, you would see a levels of enchantments and enchantments over here on the right side. To enchant, of course, you would need to put some lapis and an encha enchantable item. Now, there is a term called enchantability. Okay, it is when a certain uh, rarity of weapons have more chances of getting higher enchantment. Uh, this diamond sword uh, is getting a looting to enchantment, correct? Now, if I place this wooden sword, see what's gonna happen. A looting three enchantment. This is because of a term called enchantability. I would cover enchantability in some time, so don't worry about that, okay? Now, let's talk about the diamond sword. 
if you do a level one okay level one enchantment you would it would consume around one lapis and one level so uh, to do this enchantment you would need eight levels so after you have done the enchantment it would have uh, taken one lapis from these uh, this stack that you had placed and one level of exp so after doing the enchantment instead of having level eight you would have a level seven exp similarly for the second one and third one level 13 is required to do this enchantment and would consume two levels of exp and two lapis as for the third one it would consume three levels and three lapis and you would need a minimum of 30 exp to do this enchanted i hope if you if you know gacha okay th there is a little bit of uh, luck in gacha here as well okay if you see a question mark or uh, next to an enchantment there is a chance that you can get another good enchantment along with the enchantment that you can see now for here let's check this example okay irons uh, sorry diamond sword is getting a looting to enchantment with a question mark that question mark means that the, you can get more than one enchantment and you can get maybe even a high level enchantment after looting too so let's check that first a looting to enchantment as you can see i just enchanted my diamond sword and see i got a looting two and an unbreaking three now if you're not familiar with all the enchantments don't worry i will make another video covering all the enchantments in this game okay for explaining this section i converted my game mode to survival got some exp and got some tons of books and some materials that you can enchant Okay. The topic that I'm going to cover is a dummy enchantments. Okay. Dummy enchantments is like, now see, I'm going to place a sword and it's going to give me sharpness four. Okay. Now let's say in a situation, I do not want a sharpness four. Okay. In that case, what I can do is that remove this and place in enchantable item, usually books and do the level one enchantments. Of course, I'm going to lose one EXP and one Lapis, but I would gain a enchanted book and the enchantments on the enchantment table would be refreshed before we got a sharpness four. correct? Now we have Bane of Arthropods 4. Let's say you don't want uh, the Bane of Arthropods 4 again. Just place another book, do the level one or maybe sometimes level two enchantments, depending on what enchantments you have and if you need that enchantments. So I'm gonna do a level two enchantment, that is the Trap Strider. And first first one we got Sharpness four and then Bane of Arthropods four, correct? Now for the level three enchantments, we get Knockback two. That way you can refresh the enchantments on the enchanting table and get your desired enchantment, correct? Yeah. You can get the desired enchantment okay so the next topic that i'm going to cover is enchantability there is a concept of enchantability and it goes something like this okay it's like mainly different rarity of the same items have different chances to gain better uh, enchantments okay so for this example i took all of the items that are there and uh, I'll show you right now. So unbreaking three. Okay, I'm gonna enchant this and there are chances that I would gain better uh, enchantments, correct? But uh, there is a rarity order. Okay, there is a rarity order where stone gets the least enchantments, least good enchantments. For example, I would do an unbreaking three and I might get an efficiency one on this okay and after that would be the diamond ones so the diamond one has the higher rarity over stone and then it is iron and then it will be the wood and the netherite wood and netherite have the same enchantability and then we have gold okay so this would be the enchantability okay 
stone being the lowest and the golden shovel having the highest enchantability. Armor, it is a bit different. Okay, for armor, it is a bit different. For armor, the lowest enchantability would be for iron. Okay, and then it would be for diamonds. And then the chain armor. Okay, the chain armor. And then we have the netherite. Where did I keep it? And leather armor. Okay. Netherite and leather are the same enchantability. And again, gold have the highest enchantability. Of course, you can gain the highest enchantments on all of these pieces, except it the chances are quite low. Okay. Enchantability is a term that would deal with that. Okay, the chances of getting the higher enchantments on the pieces are different from rarity to rarity. Okay, so now the anvil. It is quite a useful block when it comes to enchanting in Minecraft. If you don't know how to make an anvil, all you have to do is place three iron blocks and place three iron ingots in the form of a stand to gain the anvil, like so. The anvil has many uses, okay? For once, uh, you can enchant through the anvil. I'll show you an example. I'll take an iron pickaxe and an enchanted book uh, such as Unbreaking. Now what's gonna happen is that I'm gonna place the iron pickaxe and the Unbreaking 3 enchanted book to get an uh, Unbreaking 3 iron pickaxe. That is one way you can enchant if you have some enchanted books. There is another concept that needs to be explained. Now, I'm going to enchant these two with unbreaking two enchantments, alright? So, I have two unbreaking two pickaxe. So, if I place an unbreaking two pickaxe and another unbreaking two pickaxe, I will gain an unbreaking three pickaxe. Okay, this would work anyway. You won't get an unbreaking 4, you'll gain an unbreaking 3. It works with efficiency as well. Since there are 5 efficiency, I'll show you another example. Now I'm gonna enchant 2 iron pickaxe with the efficiency 2. Now, an efficiency 2 along with an efficiency 2 will give you an efficiency 3 pickaxe, not efficiency 4. Okay, now there is another thing that you can do, okay? Uh, as you can see, it requires enchantment levels, okay? Enchantment cost is 5. If I, you can uh, replace the items and sometimes maybe uh, have a lower cost for the enchantment levels over here. That is a tip that you need to remember when you don't have enough levels. You can also use the anvil to combine stuff. This, for example, this is efficiency 2 and an unbreaking 3 pickaxe. If I place the unbreaking 3 pickaxe here and the efficiency 2 pickaxe here, I will gain the unbreaking 3 efficiency 2 pickaxe. Now, this costs me 4 enchantment levels. What happens if I replace and place the unbreaking through here as you can see it now costs me the double so the previous arrangement was the better one now i'm gonna try to mine this okay as you can see there is a durability bar on this you can use the anvil like so and repair items at the cost of exp and all the enchantments that are there for this will still be there after repairing the only problem is that it will cost you enchantment levels. Sometimes you can rearrange and get the lower cost. You can also use the, the anvil to name items. So this item is called iron pickaxe. So I'm not going to say iron pickaxe. I'm going to say the best pick in the game. I guess I'm going to say the best pick. So as you can see, this item is now named as the best pick now if i even take it in hand it's going to be showing that the name it's called the best pick now 
there is something called the mutually exclusive enchantments where you can have only one of the two enchantments on a single item. This bow is currently unenchanted and I'm gonna enchant it with the infinity. So it's gonna cost me four and this is now enchanted with infinity. Now I'm gonna try to put mending on it. As you can see, it is not allowing me to add mending to my infinity bow. So therefore, infinity and mending, these two enchantments are mutually exclusive. You cannot have a mending and a infinity on the same thing. Okay, so I mentioned about infinity and mending, correct? Now, another uh, exclusive set, mutually exclusive set, would be the type of protection you can have on your armor. You, as you know, there is a normal protection, fire protection, blast protection, and projectile protection. You can only have one of the type on each armor piece. I'm gonna enchant this with a protection one and try to enchant it with the fire protection. As you can see that it is not allowing me to do so. This is because all the type of protections are a mutually exclusive enchantments. There is one last topic that I need to cover in this video and that is the grindstone. So the grindstone is also another useful thing. Okay, now say for example on a good pickaxe such as a diamond or netherite pickaxe, you have something like an unbreaking three on it. Okay, and you don't want the unbreaking three and you want to disenchant it. This is where the grindstone will come into play. If you place this over here, it, it will lose the enchantments. As you can see, now it was a uh, unbreaking three. After you do it, it will be a non-enchanted item. That is one way you can use this. And you will also gain a portion of the EXP back as well. I mentioned about repairing items on the anvil the grindstone can be helpful at that as well but it comes with the catch again if i want to repair this that is the iron pickaxe i can place another non-enchanted one to repair it but it loses the enchantments that it has that is the only catch that it comes with a uh, repairing on a grindstone but on the anvil if I repair it, it will retain the uh, enchantments, but it will cost you valuable enchantment levels. So that was the difference between repairing on a grindstone and repairing on an anvil. Well, that's all for now. I hope I explained everything about enchanting. As for all the enchantments in Minecraft, well, let's aim for 100 likes on this video and I would make another video regarding that topic well if you like the video liking and subbing to the channel is greatly appreciated as i'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year so that will be helpful that's all for now i will see you all in the next video bye bye